Wait, oh, hey, okay, there are, oh God, Jesus Christ. Yep, these are new. Hey there, Foxy Gamers, welcome back to Subnautica. Today we are on a mission, and for that mission, we have things, not the right things. Okay, okay. First of all, let me make a battery. Now we are on a mission with the proper things. We have a spare power cell and battery. Also, I made a flashlight because where we're going, we might need a flashlight. And we are stocked up on plenty of food and water for the time being. So, what we're going to do today is cert- Hey, buddy. Do you mind? Do you please mind, like, not taking a dump on my base, like... Ah, that that's not very cool, you know? You weren't here when I made this base. Wow, you're like, whoa. I've never seen them do the bunkin' bronco before. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go search for an island. Gee whiz, what are you guys doing over here? Get out of here. I wish there was something I could do to shoo them away. Good grief. So much gas. Ugh. I mean you no harm. I promise. Can I... I just want to get to my sea moth. Oh, this could be bad. Actually. This could be very bad. Apparently he's just constantly scared of my sea moth. Alright. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. Gee whiz! Why are there so many of these things over here? I'm not a fan. Because those are the sneaky little buggers that will just, you know, release their gas pods when you're not even looking at them. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later. For now, what I want to do is search for an island. Now, it's a little bit of cheating because I've played this game before, but the island we want to go for is directly in the direction that the uh, rockets of the Aurora are pointing. So as long as we look behind us and we can see the the rocket not, not the rockets, the engine of the Aurora we should be going the correct direction. Oh, and my game is lagging. Please don't crash. Thank you. Maybe I should minimize the amount of popping in and out of the water. I'm gonna stay near the surface because my goal right now is just to travel, not to search for things. And you know, I can't remember if there's any reapers in this vicinity or not. But better to play it safe, especially since it looks super dark and scary down here. But then there's my curious side that, you know, wants to know if there's any wrecks down here. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Maybe when we get some hole reinforcements or something, we'll start going down into the depths a little more. Aha! Here is our island. Wait. That is not what I remember the island to look like. But perhaps it has changed since the last time I was out here. Oh no, it is. It's just uh, not completely loading in yet. Alright, so we should be able to find a whole bunch of goodies on this island. Wait, is this where we want to park? Nope, nope, nope. So now we just need to find ourselves a landing spot. And of course, I had to take the long way around the island, but here we are. Alright, so one thing to pay attention to is to not ram into these islands with a lot of momentum for two reasons. One, you could damage your sea moth. And two, if you end up getting too far on the shore here, then uh, you won't be able to get your sea moth back out into the water. And then you'll have to swim all the way back and make a whole nother sea moth. All right, so the last time I was at this island, there was not anything threatening, but who knows if that's still the case. 
Let's go ahead and fill up on our water, though. Alright, so hopefully if we just follow this path here, we will get to some goodies. Aha! Wait, oh, hey! Okay, there are- Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Yep, these are new. I mean, I've seen them on the Aurora before. Oh, come on! This is BS. Ugh. Man, they do a lot more damage than I remember, too. Okay. This could be a problem. I don't think I really have a good way to take care of them. That stinks. I liked how peaceful this island was. Alright, well maybe I'm not gonna scan these things. Come here! There! Take that. Where's the other one? I hear him. Little fucker. Ah, there he is. Come here. Have at me, bro. Yeah! Yeah, take that. Ah, I hear more. Where the hell are they coming from? Alright, anyway. I guess I won't stand here and read these PDAs. We'll have to read them later. Because I don't want to attract these little buggers, especially at nighttime. I definitely don't want to deal with being here at nighttime. Okay. We'll take. You know. I can't. Can I eat these? No. So we can take these back with us and grow them eventually. But I really want to save my inventory space for things that are edible. Where are these guys? I hear more. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, it makes sense that there's creatures on the island, but I was a fan of it uh, being safe for us. Food. Ah, yes. Oh, look at that. There's food and water in that. That's amazing. Okay. We'll take one sample of that back with us so that we can grow it inside our base. And also give this guy a scan. I might not want to waste all of my scanner for now. Just because we're going to find a lot of stuff that we want to scan. And I don't want to be out of battery power. Okay, other thing to note. Unless something has changed. Jumping in this game does not work the best. So you want to be very careful when jumping to press, like, towards the island. Otherwise, you'll li likely, like, jump into the water, and that's no good. Okay. I'm not gonna scan this. We'll grow him and scan it. The other thing is, you can eat these, but, you know, you don't want to eat too many. Whoops. Uh, that's probably alright. We should probably just eat two anyway. Because, as I've explained before, you will get food poisoning if you eat too much of one thing. Ah, oh, we got more little buggers here. Is it just that one? Come here! I wouldn't have to kill you if you weren't a little punk. But you are, so... Oh, you didn't die, huh? Come here! There. Where's the other one? I hear him. Where'd you go? Alright, we'll worry about you later, I guess. Ah! Well... Jeez. I don't like these little noises. They're not super threatening, but when they come and at you in flocks, it's not the best. Okay. It's gonna be nighttime soon, which could be a problem. Hey! I hear you! Alright. Well, let's start scanning this stuff. Oh, he's like stuck in the ship here. There is our grow bed. That one is for planting and- whoop. Oh, this is the same one, I guess. Now, the exterior grow bed is for planting out of side of your base. It's so annoying. They're waiting for me inside. Here we go. I'm scan him. This is a safe- safe distance to scan him from. Come here. Alright, fine. 
But here we go. This is the most important thing that I came here for, was the multi-purpose room. Hooray! Alright, so I want to get up there, but I'm gonna have to be ready to take these guys on. Okay. Come here. Oh no, do we need a propulsion cannon to get in here now? That was not the case in the past. Ooh, purple artifact! Cool, what is that? I have no clue what that is. That's awesome. I like not knowing things. Okay, I just saw a scan something scannable. Oh, cave crawler. Grr. Well, I guess we can't get in there right now. Unless there's another way to get around. That's a disappointment because I know there's grow beds in here. Grr. Well, bummer. I've never actually even made a propulsion cannon because I haven't found myself needing it between a welder and a laser cutter. But this might just be a time when I do need it. I wonder, can I can I get up here? Not sure if there's any fall damage yet in this game. There wasn't the last time I played. But we will potentially find out. Ah, at least we can get up here. That's awesome. Ooh, and a med kit. We might be needing that. Ah, okay. I hear them scurrying around, but... Where'd he go? Ah! Oh, jeez! <laughs> He's right there. Come here! Ha! Easy kill. Woo! I'm not used to fighting this many PDAs here, either. Cool. Oh, and a battery. Awesome. Alright, well, I was expecting to find a grow bed in there, but that must be somewhere else. Man, they really changed this a lot. I am a fan. Anything scannable in here? Nope. Okay, moving on. Let's see if we can't get to this guy up here. Not gonna use any med kits yet because it restores more health than what we've lost. Alright, well at least we can sprint over here. Ah! What? That wasn't a nice sound. There's lots of new sounds happening here. What the fuck? I don't like this anymore. What is that noise? Oh, this could be bad. Also, why is my... Okay. I'm not sure if that's just ambience. With it being on the... Oh, jeez. What? What? Oh my god, what is that noise? Holy shit. Is there like some crazy... Creature... On this island now? Oh, crap. Where is my sea moth? Over here? Guys, I'm a little scared. Why am I playing this on hardcore mode again? It's one thing to deal with the little tiny guys, but whatever's making that noise, I don't like it too much. Alright guys, I'm just gonna sit this out for a few minutes because there is another thing I can get to, maybe, but I can't really see it uh, in the dark, so I'm just gonna wait till nighttime passes and see you in a minute. Okay guys, on second thought, I'm thinking it's maybe just some ambient sounds, like the higher up I go, it's supposed to be wind and maybe like rocks crumbling, because we're up high. And maybe these noises just weren't there before, but they're not... They're not very good ambient noises. Because it doesn't... It only kind of sounds like wind. But I'm gonna risk it anyway. So this might be the end of the series if there's something really terrifying up here. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Moment of truth. 
I don't hear any cave crawlers. Maybe it's up too high for them. They don't like it up here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Phew. We're all right. Panic for nothing. Yay, indoor grow bed. That's what I wanted. Um, fern palm. I... Well, I'm gonna scan this observatory here. Like I said, I'm not gonna scan everything right at this moment. Because I'd like to save battery life for other things since we don't yet have a charger. So, I think that's all I'm gonna get from here for now. Ooh, and this PDA. Oops. Alright. This seems relatively safe, so let's read Bart Torgel's log number three, shall we? Ooh, okay, we got a lot of... Well, we obviously better start with number one. Captain's log. Five weeks since our ship, the Degassi, was shot down. I give thanks that fate saw fit to spare my son Bart and I from death, but my personal entourage were not so destined. The only other survivor was Marguerite Maida, a cut-priced mercenary with local expertise who I reluctantly commissioned for the journey. We spent days in the life pods, rain beating down on the roof, nothing but ocean on the horizon. Just as we were losing hope, the weather cleared and we saw this island, this floating oasis. We were saved. We salvaged the Degassi wreck down to its bare bones and built this habitat from the scrap. I set Bart to studying the alien plant life and arranging us a stable source of food. Put that expensive digitraining to good use. People can question digitraining and foreign technology all they like. Bart's biochem imprint already paid for itself. As I dictate this, I'm eating hydroponically grown potato salad garnished with seeds that taste like spicy orange peel. That sounds really delicious, actually. Our only problem is Maida. I've caught her muttering that the island's too small to support us indefinitely, that the weather's going to turn on us. I say she's grown superstitious. Every judgment she makes assumes things go ba from bad to worse, that the only forward is a fight. She ought to take in some context. As a species, we've spent millennia learning how to shackle nature our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. Our one task now is to stay alive as comfortably as possible until rescue arrives. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Well, I think it's safe to say the weather kind of took over. Alright, what's this log number two? Bart, I said no! Your life is worth more than your vegetable patch. I forbid you to go out in this storm. I stopped needing your permission when the ship you were captaining sunk. You will stop needing my permission the day I am not your father. Say, Chief! Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds out there of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? The writing isn't the best in this. Don't try to be clever. No one likes a clever mercenary. I'm just saying, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If next week you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart Togel is no longer aboard the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, and sooner or later this place will be buried. Only choice we've got is whether we get buried with it. Stay away from my boy. Uh-oh. I messed up badly this time. It's been two days since what happened. We never should have left this island. I shouldn't have listened to them. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us. I knew it and I didn't say. I could see it and they couldn't. And now they're stuck down there and I'm up here alone. I deserve this. Ooh. So apparently there's other people down below. That's very ominous. And I hear a cave crawler. So I'm gonna get out of here now. And hope to not fall off of this. Make sure there's nothing else scannable there. Okay. Time to figure out how to get over there. And look at that. There's a path right there. Okay. I don't like the crumbling rock sounds, but I suppose that I'm not supposed to like the crumbling rock sounds. Alright, I hear you, cave crawler. Oh, please don't. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, God. Huh. <sighs> Like I said, don't know if there's fall damage or not in this game yet, but that would be a quick and easy way to die. Pink cap, mm, 
nah. I'm gonna wait to scan that for another time. Oh, jeez. Alright, any cave crawlers up here? Anybody? Anybody wanna say hello? Alright, let's, let's eat this small marble melon. Yes. Delicious. I'll keep the decomposing ones for planting because it doesn't matter if they're fresh or not. Phew! This is more intense than the last time that I came to this island, for sure. And another PDA. Let's see what this one says. TransGov profile, Mongolian independent states. When the hostilities of the expansion seized, the tactical value of a number of hard-to-reach colony systems on the outer rim of the China territories plummeted. China? I didn't realize there was any sort of earth involved in this game? Recouping from the war, the central government left them to starve. The systems in question declared independence, claiming their infrastructure as their own, and their intent to become self-sufficient. Today, the Mongolian state- Yeah, well, Mongolian, why didn't- why didn't that trigger my- Oh, it's earth, right? Today, the Mongolian states is seen as a relatively minor power on the outskirts of colonized space, yet it remains one of the fastest expanding trans-govs in the galaxy. There is little centralized control. In times of war, a defense force can be raised between the chief officers of the major planetary corporations. Mongolian societies inherited their technologies from the Chinese, but incorporated the customs of their multicultural colonist base. Non-synthetic foods remain popular. Religion is a strong component of society, but the Mongolians take a relaxed view of competing faiths, believing gods to be universally flawed and equally defensible. Okay, that is interesting. Looks like we have some crew member logs I missed too, but that's enough reading for this episode. We'll check that out another time. I'm not sure how long I want to stay on this island for. There is a cave that we can explore, but I really wanted to grab these uh, plant samples. Now, where's my... Where's my path down here? I really wanted to grab the plant samples so that we can go grow them back at our base. So I think that's what we'll do for now. Is go back home, start start planting this these things so that we don't have to, you know, farm the fish as much. And we'll return here at a later date. Mm, let's go check out what's this way real quick. If it's something easy for us. So, oh, hey, there's a PDA. PDA. Alright, fine, let's read it. Degassi voice log number three. You see, Chief, you brought us to this, sud this sodden planet. You told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got? Some six weeks later, most of the crew dead. A pile of dirt in front of our room. Rain coming in through the windows. Food destroyed. I suppose you, with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face, you'd make a much better captain. I know I'd start by not taking unscheduled detours by alien water worlds. That's something you never want to learn the hard way. Let's hear it then. What's your plan? I have a site scouted out. It's a cave, a couple hundred meters down. Lots of lithium deposits. Good for building. How do you imagine we'd live? I figured two water filters would keep the three of us going. We could build a bioreactor to cover the power. Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad if that's what it takes. Or you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Alright, so we're on their trail. But like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna go into the cave. Ah, uh, this episode is running a little long. But now my curiosity has peaked. So maybe I will actually stay on this planet for another episode. Since there are plenty of things around that we can eat. Alright guys, on that note, that will do it for this episode then. Thanks a lot for joining me, boys and berries, and until next time, stay foxy.